Oral Federal University, I remind you, dear friends, that it is ranked among the top 350 uh, universities by uh, QS Global Ranking. So we're talking about one of the leading universities here in Russia. We will have with us today Kamran Gusseinov, a manager of International Student Mobility and Recruiting. Uh, Mr. Kamran will tell us more information, detailed information for international students interested to study uh, in, uh, at Oral Federal University. Uh, Mr. Kamran, how are you? Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Kamran, can you hear me well? Yeah, please start with your presentation. We are listening to you. So, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Uh, warm greetings from the Euro Federal University, a world class education in the heart of Russia. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Kamran Gusinev. Uh, I represent the Center for International Student Mobility and Recruitment. So, uh, our uh, our university is situated in uh, Yekaterinburg. Uh, it's the capital of Euro region. Uh, our city has a unique geographical location on the border of Europe and Asia, and it's just two hours flight to time from Moscow. Mm -hmm. So our city is the fourth largest and developed cities in Russia. Uh, it is an industrial, economic, and cultural capital of the Urals. Uh, and uh, one important thing that our city will be the host city of World Summer University in 2023. Mm -hmm. so, uh, our university was established more than 100 years ago, and uh, we are among the largest universities in uh, Russia. So we have more than uh, 36,000 students, and 4,300 4, uh, among them are international students. Mm -hmm from more than 100 countries. So, um, as it was mentioned before, our university um, is uh, placed in a very high high range at QS World University ran rankings. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we um, improved our position for the last five years, and uh, the humanitarian um, uh, humanitarian um, knowledge, humanitarian uh, courses among the top uh, from our university. So, uh, uh, well, uh, information about Russian government scholarship. So, our university does not provide any uh, specific scholarship for, for our students, but uh, international students can apply for uh, Rosatrunchito scholarships, different Russian grants and scholarships for all degrees, bachelor, master, and PhD degrees. So, of course, uh, here at Euro Federal University, we have a Russian language school uh, at the preparatory department for foreign students. So, after the successful completion of the course, uh, you may apply for bachelor, for master in Russian. Um, so, uh, all the bachelor degree uh, programs at our university are taught in Russian language. All the applicants pass two entrance tests, first the Russian language uh, and then the profile subject language. Um, so, and uh, bachelor degree lasts for four years, and master's for, for, two, for two years. Uh, we have uh, 15 master degree programs in English and more than 160 master degree programs in, in Russian language. Uh, besides that, we have 23 doctoral or PhD programs uh, in English in various uh, studies, natural science, mathematics, engineering, technical sciences, social science, humanities, and arts. Uh, we, have, uh, we have strong academic and research facilities. Uh, we have more than 160 research labs um, and, and uh, several co-working rooms for, for our students want to, to study different knowledge and to, to do a science at our university. Speaking about the accommodation, one of the most important things uh, concerning the education, uh, we have uh, 16 student dormitories uh, and um, different sports facilities. So if you're a student of Euro Federal University, you can uh, attend more than uh, 11 specialized sports halls, athletic fields, swimming pools, stadiums, and etc. Well, we uh, we uh, respect the diversity, and the social and cultural life for university is quite developed. We have more than two hundred different social cultural uh, events every year, 
uh, we celebrate independence days of the countries and we, our administration fully supports, supports our international students and different international um, uh, cultural uh, events. Mr. Kamran, it seems that you have international students from uh, different countries. Uh, yes. Can you tell us, please, like from which countries mostly students coming to Rural Federal University? Well, we have uh, uh, the list is quite huge. Mm -hmm. So among top maybe the uh, countries for former Soviet Union, mm -hmm. we have a lot of students from from Asian region, especially from China. And uh, we have uh, students from uh, Middle East and African republics. That's great. That's great. Um, so, uh, if, uh, our international life, uh, international life, our, our students and our university is quite developed. So we have an education center for international students, um, and we created a body system for assistance to our international students and of course uh, all uh, all the students of our university can apply for you know, for various mobility uh, programs abroad um, you can find the, the list at our at our university website mm -hmm. so maybe these uh, the legal issues uh, uh, so here are the list of what you what documents we need for for the admission and key uh, dates and deadlines for bachelor is the 1st of August, for master's uh, the 1st of October. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Um, Mr. Kamran, regarding the today's situation with the COVID 19, and you know that uh, many international students they are not able to come physically or travel physically to uh, Russia, uh, what's your plan? Uh, like, what's the plans of Oral Federal University regarding? Uh, um, uh, regarding this situation for, for the upcoming intakes, I mean, uh, for those international students who are not able to visit or to travel to Russia, um, uh, will they be able to start their education uh, online after that, uh, maybe when the borders open, they can come to join the on-campus uh, education? What can you tell us about that, please? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we welcome all our students. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that, uh, well, we know that the situation is quite tough. Uh, and of course, of course, for all the students of national students uh, regarding the closed border, we we provide them with online online course online education, so they can apply mm -hmm. and they, they can start their course online. That's Definitely. Right. With, with the same tuition fees, I mean everything is still same. Uh, I mean uh, I'm sure that Oral Federal University as uh, all other Russian universities got uh, wonderful experience with uh, with the situation for this year. I mean, uh, is there any special is, is there any special requirements for those who will apply for online in the second uh, like for the September? Exam? No, uh, the uh, the admission process is quite the same. Quite the so same. you you collect all the documents and you can apply at our website apply dot dot ru. So after the checking of your of the documents, you will be provided with the dates of of the uh, exams, mm -hmm. and so we we can pr proceed the the admission process. Yeah, thank you. Great. Mm -hmm. So here is our uh, our application website, special organized for our international students. Uh, so uh, well, we have a, a web page, our university website in English. Uh, as well as in Spanish, by the way, and in Chinese. So we have a Facebook page. So you can write your all your questions regarding uh, the education regarding our university to the uh, Facebook page. We have uh, Instagram in English, mm -hmm. uh, which reflects the life of our university. So if you have any questions concerning the admission uh, or any other specific questions, you can. Uh, right uh, directly to our admissions office, admission uh, mm -hmm. and uh, for any contacts and memorandums of cooperation, Elizabeth Sasko is the head of uh, our Center for International Students Mobility and Recruitment. You are all you're always welcome. Thank you for your attention and joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much for this great information about uh, Oral Federal University. I would like to remind you, dear friends who are watching us, giving uh, like uh, posting some questions right now on the 
social media, I really um, ask you kindly to go to the virtual, uh, the study of Russia virtual fair, which is going right now till 6 uh, p.m. Moscow time. Um, just uh, put fair.studyinrussia.online, uh, register for free, then you go to the virtual hall where you, where you can find Oral Federal University virtual stand. Through this virtual stand, you will be able to serve the photo gallery, video gallery, contact info, as well as chat directly with Mr. Kamran and his colleagues about your situation, ask your question directly, and uh, uh, Mr. Kamran and his colleague will uh, have the pleasure to answer you. So uh, we continue in, uh, our info session with Mr. Um, uh, Simeonov uh, Andre, associate professor of the Department of Physics and Technology. Uh, he will tell us more uh, about uh, the maybe Rosatom project and uh, those students who are coming through the Rosatom uh, scholarship programs or uh, like maybe more information about the Department of Physics and Technology. So, Mr. Andre, how are you? Mr. Andre? Yeah, I'm here. Um, yeah, great. Okay. Uh, but I don't know, the presentation is... Yeah. Yeah. And, okay. And... Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Um, good day, everyone. Thank you for the possibility to be here. And um, let me introduce. I'm Andrei Smirnov, Associate Professor at Experimental Phys Physics Department. And I'm here to present my institute, Institute of Physics and Technology. Uh, we can offer you, uh, for foreign students, 10 bachelor's degree programs and 17 master's degree programs. Um, also, we have a really good traditions in science. We have a lot of uh, laboratories of scientific and research purposes. And uh, you can get here, a lot of math, physics, chemistry uh, technologies, especially radiation technologies, because we are really good in these technologies. And on the slide, you can see uh, our bachelor's degree programs. And I highlighted in red uh, the programs where uh, we have had already uh, the foreign students from different countries, uh, especially from uh, such continent as Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Uh, and as you can see, we really can uh, give you a lot of knowledge in math, uh, IT, electronics, uh, um, technologies, chemistry, and even uh, semi-humanitarian uh, specialties like uh, innovation and quality management. Uh, but unfortunately, all our programs are in Russian. So before entering to our institute, you need to learn uh, Russian language, for example, at the preparatory department for foreign students at Urfu, at Ural Federal University. And probably some words about uh, each educational program, some specific uh, stuff. For example, if you like uh, really math and theoretical physics and want to know everything about quantum computing, uh, machine learning, but machine learning in science. So you're welcome in this uh, program and you will get really deep knowledge in applied math and theoretical physics. Uh, this program is about uh, IT in business. Uh, it's really a practice oriented uh, program, but also you will get really deep knowledge uh, in physics and uh, you will learn a lot of programming languages, for example, C++, C Sharp, and Python. Um, if you'd like to upgrade your hard skills in electronics, or probably to get deep knowledge just in electronics, so this is program is for you. Um, not only uh, research or learn uh, about uh, electronics, but also try to design your own uh, device uh, at the end of your education. It's really possible for each student, no matter where you're from. Uh, instrument engineering is a similar 
educational program to electronics and non-electronics, but specific here is uh, you will learn everything about devices and methods of quality control and diagnostics. Uh, this educational program is really unique at our institute uh, and probably in Russia because we try to combine two sphere, uh, medicine and uh, technology. So you will get good knowledge in computer science in medicine, um, a lot of physics, chemistry and math, but uh, with uh, such words as bio, so biophysics, biochemistry, etc. And you will know everything about medical equipment and medical uh, technologies. If you'd like nuclear physics or technology, especially radiation technologies, and uh, know everything about uh, interaction uh, of ionized radiation uh, with substances, uh, so this is program is for you. And also we have three trajectories. Uh, for example, if you're good in electronics, so uh, you can uh, choose these trajectories. If you would like to adjust to simulation modeling uh, in nuclear physics, so number one trajectories. And also you can um, create your own startup and business uh, and apply all your uh, knowledge in nuclear industry, but to create your own innovative project. Um, Institute of Physics and Technology, and everybody can say that we are good just in physics. No, it's not like this. Uh, we are also good in chemistry, but especially, uh, especially in inorganic, so non-organic uh, chemistry. We have three departments um, dealing with chemistry, and you will know everything about methods of ob obtaining some materials and methods of control of these materials. Um, each company has their own um, department of quality and we have uh, so-called quality management educational program and here is our semi-humanitarian speciality. Uh, you will know everything about standards uh, and quality management and also other uh, semi-humanitarian speciality is innovation. So. This is about startups, patents, uh, know-how, and etc. But uh, not only in nuclear industry, but in any enterprises and companies. And this is our new uh, educational program, non-engineering. So it's similar to electronics and non-electronics and instrument engineering. But uh, here you will deal with uh, nano-sized objects. So if electronics, but non-electronics. Uh, if material, so nanopowders, or for example. Mm -hmm. um, after graduating bachelor, of course, you can continue your education at Urfu uh, on master's degree programs. And the title is probably is almost the same, but the, of course, the knowledge uh, you can get here, of course, quite deeper. And unfortunately, all programs are also in Russian. But some foreign students uh, chose these programs. You can see that information system and technology, nuclear physics is very popular uh, among the African uh, students. And also innovation to try to create your own uh, startup in your country. Um, as I said, so we try to combine everything, science, education, and industry. We have really unique equipment and we have uh, our scientific uh, schools are famous all over the world. And we have a lot of laboratories for science, for research, for study. And for example, we have two so-called two big uh, toys uh, and linear accelerator of electrons for uh, radiation sterilization and also cyclotron for getting radio pharmaceuticals uh, for nuclear medicine is very promising and uh, unique project in the Ural and probably in Russia as well. Uh, we try to give you a lot of information, a lot of knowledge in physics, chemistry, math and computer science, probably in everything, and try to involve all students um, to research projects directly from the first year of study and some students can try to present uh, your own project at our 
International Youth uh, Scientific Conference. And here are our contacts. So if you have any question, uh, please visit our website, follow our Instagram, and feel free to send me or um, my colleagues the email. So thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please ask them. Yeah, thank you. Andrei, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, this uh, information about the Department of Physics and Technology. Uh, dear friends, uh, I'm really getting more questions on uh, our uh, Facebook Live right now, as I see. But uh, unfortunately, we will not be able to pick all of them. Uh, maybe uh, if Mr. Kamran also will join us about uh, that. He had some students asking about the tuition fees uh, for the bachelor degree program. And if they are able to pay by installments, can you tell us something, Mr. Kamran, about that? Uh, yes, uh, students can pay by installment. Uh, all the prices, um, they are on our website. Mm -hmm. When you find the list of all the programs, mm -hmm. uh, there is a price for international students. And uh, there is a price with a uh, special price, uh, marked mark to special dot. Th that is for the students who pass the exam successfully. So if you pass the exam successfully, you may have a discount for, for studying. Okay, okay, okay. So everything is posted on the website, dear friends. Please visit orfu.ru and you will get more information about uh, uh, the tuition fees, uh, the hostel and so on. And plus, I remind you once again, uh, please go to the virtual hall on uh, the virtual fair on fair.studyinrussia.online. You will be able to ask your question directly to Mr. Kamran, uh, Mr. Andre, and other uh, colleagues of, from Oral uh, Federal University. So, dear friends, we're coming to the end of our fourth uh, webinar session with Oral Federal University. We had the pleasure uh, to talk with you, Mr. Kamran. Thank you. Mr. Andre, thank you very much. Uh, maybe you would like to add something yeah. by the end for those who are watching us. Yeah, probably I can add something. So I just say that um, it's pretty easy actually to enter to our institute, but of course it's pretty hard to study. But we have a lot of cases of really successful uh, graduating of uh, by foreign students. So feel free um, that we can do everything our best. That you feel free, uh, you you feel more comfortable. Okay. So welcome to our institute. So dear friends, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kamran, Mr. Andre, and those who was uh, watching us uh, today on the Facebook Live. So we're finishing our fourth webinar with Oral Federal University, coming soon with the fifth one. So dear friends, have a good day. See you soon. Thank you.